Welcome back to Harbour Unboxed. Today we find ourselves at the G-School booth. Of course, G-School has sponsored our trip this year, so big thanks to them for that. And we thought, you know, we should come by and check out their products. And they did promise some spicy looking memory modules. Not sure what that means, but I thought, you know what, we've got to come and have a look at that. And, you know, Cam2 makes its appearance again. A few more details on that and what's going on there. So let's go check it all out. The Harbour Unboxed Computex coverage is brought to you by MSI, Thermal Grizzly, G-Skill and Trix. Check out MSI's range of GeForce RTX 50 series graphics cards powered by NVIDIA ADA GPU architecture with advanced ray tracing and DLSS. Delivering elite airflow, thermal design, and stunning aesthetics for incredible gaming performance. Included is MSI's unique seven blade storm force fans, which boost airflow and reduce noise. The Supreme and Vanguard models include vapor chamber cooling, while the Supreme liquid features a 360 millimeter radiator. All models provide advanced tuning and monitoring capabilities via the MSI Center and MSI Afterburner. So to learn more about MSI's RTX 50 series, please check the links in the video description. Also supporting our Computex trip this year is Thermal Grizzly and their Duranaut high performance thermal paste offering extreme long-term stability combined with outstanding thermal conductivity. It's not electrically conductive and won't harden over time. So for more information, please check the links in the video description. So here we are, and to no one's surprise, we have found a lot of memory modules. We have the Royal stuff, which I'm sure you guys have seen. Don't know if that's uh, reflecting into the camera there, but yeah, very fancy memory. You guys will have seen this stuff. But what you won't have seen, some of the new memory that they have that's not necessarily coming to market. We're going to have to get your feedback on that, see how many of you are interested. Now, there is a new Neo X series. And we'll talk about some of the memory in the Neo X series that is coming to market. This stuff is more demo. It could come to market, but it just depends on interest. So it's their, well, very uh, neon sort of looking stuff. This is a, a yellowy green color. They sort of describe it as green. It's sort of more yellow to my eye, but whatever. It looks, in my opinion, looks very cool, but I think they look better in the systems, which we'll check out in a moment. Now, I get that, you know, Again, the orange memory I really like. I think that looks really cool. It looks really good under the RGB lighting. So while the black and white and stuff like that does fit in better with the most builds because of you know, the RGB lighting and stuff, I do think there is a market for these more out there eye-catching memory modules. And yeah, I reckon the orange looks great. So anyway, let me know what you guys think. Is this something you would even entertain buying and putting your system or would you stick to the more traditional safer colors, which we're gonna look at now? So some memory I'm told that is coming to market, probably towards Q3. Uh, one of them is, again, it's in the Neo X range, and this is a matte black design, so it's not, it's not glossy, a very nice matte finish. I think this looks fantastic. This is obviously an RGB version because you've got the translucent st uh, strip on top. But this is designed for an upcoming processor, I'm told. Now, they wouldn't disclose which processor, but when I said new AM5 processor, they sort of gave me the look so probably for a new AM5 processor, but that wasn't confirmed by G-Skill themselves. They just said this memory has been designed for a new upcoming CPU. So pretty exciting stuff on the horizon, I reckon. And then there is a low profile Flare X 5X. So probably the right amount of Xs for this particular model, maybe a third one if AMD produced it. But yeah, nice low profile memory here. No RGB nonsense, none of that stuff. Just that matte black heat spreader very clean will fit in like ITX builds really well so pretty neat looking kit and again this is designed for those unannounced unnamed upcoming CPUs here we have another Neo X kit again this is a demo version though so like the the neon neon ones we just looked at this may or may not come to market obviously very reminiscent of the Royal series I while I love the look of the Royal series with that mirror finish and this certainly doesn't have that it has more of a sparkly fleck kind of look it's kind of like a speedboat this is much more uh resistant let's say to fingerprints so the oils on your fingers and stuff when you touch them you can handle these modules and they always look clean and new which unfortunately i can't say about the uh, original royal memory module so if you do like the royal memory modules but you find that keeping them looking nice and neat is basically impossible which it is could be cool to get a version like this and you've got that sort of uh, crystallized looking RGB strip on top that you get with the Royal Memory. So yeah, Royal Memory fans, if you think this is a more practical uh, version, then let us know in the comments and we'll pass it on the G-Skill. Okay, and then for the more traditional 
gloss finish, the piano finish. We have the black RGB and white RGB version of the Neo X memory. Again, this is for that unannounced, uh, unnamed upcoming CPU. Then they also have the, uh, there's two different versions of the, well, a few different versions of the white rather. So I think they've, they're playing with maybe the clear or translucent strip on the top for a non-RGB version um, and then a black version on top. I asked, so this is a black white version. I asked them if they were just going to do a painted white strip, but they said it ends up looking a bit too plasticky um, and may not age that well. So again, feedback, it, it, it's something they could possibly do just a bit more difficult, but we have the white black version, uh, the white translucent, and then the white translucent with actual RGB. But yeah, these look really clean, really neat, uh, and I can't wait to see what CPU they're meant to go with. Now, something that generated quite a bit of excitement at last year's Computex trade show was the CAM2 memory. Unfortunately, nothing's really eventuated on that front. A lot of you keep asking about when's CAM2 coming to market. I'd really love to get that for my next system. Still really no news on that. It exists, it works. Uh, G-Skill are basically at the mercy of the motherboard manufacturers, so while they can produce CAM2 right now and, and sell it, if there's no motherboards, then obviously no one's going to buy it, there's no point doing that. So they're, they're ready and raring to go, uh, it's just the motherboard manufacturers have been hesitant. MSI made a heap of noise last year, said there was going to be boards coming to market, and unfortunately they didn't deliver on that. And I have spoke to them since, it's still a, like a, yeah, we might do it, there's some talk about it, but yeah, nothing really concrete, very wishy-washy. A few other board partners told me that they could provide us with uh, prototypes, like engineering samples to have a play with and see how it works out. So maybe that's something we can do. We can provide some actual content with some real performance and some real hands-on experience with it. And maybe uh, if, if you guys uh, enjoy that and think it is something you really want to do, then maybe they'll finally bring it to market. There's obviously some advantages, some disadvantages. Uh, we talked a lot about that last year, so I won't go into it now. But yeah, Cam 2 is here. But still not something we're probably going to expect to see anytime soon. Something else here that's really interesting, probably won't be of great interest to a lot of you guys, it's not a gaming focused product, but it is of interest to Balin and I because we do use a Threadripper Pro system at, at home for editing all of these videos. And this is a brand new memory kit with a 512 gigabyte capacity. So you are getting 64 gigabyte uh, modules. There's eight of them in this particular system. And yeah, that gives you that 512 gigabyte capacity, which would be really useful for us. Uh, there are some new Threadripper CPUs coming out as well in the not too distant future. So we'll probably work with G-Skill to try and get a very high capacity memory kit for our workflow. Because yeah, that would uh, be really, at the moment we are on 256 gigabytes, which sounds like a lot and it, it is, but we do often feel that when we're doing a lot of warp stabilization, especially with those big motherboard roundups, we often um, have to limit how much we can do at once, not because of CPU cores or CPU processing power, but simply because how, many, how much of that footage we can fit in the RAM to, to process that quickly. So yeah, that would be a great upgrade for us. So that's something I'm personally very excited about. And this is, this is a brand new product. So yeah, exciting stuff. Now hear me out guys. I know I'm pushing this Neo Orange, I don't know what you want to call it, but this very fancy looking memory down your throat. But I mean, check this system out. With the orange RGB fans and stuff, the memory glows a bit. Uh, I can even see like purple RGB like clashing really nicely with it. I think it looks awesome. Uh, again, colored memory can suit systems really well. Um, obviously you are limited uh, in maybe the RGB configurations you can go with with that sort of thing. But come on, that looks very cool. I'm hoping it's coming through on the camera and looking as cool as it does here. Okay, we've got my orange memory again, this time with RGB, which is also orange. It's a very orange, black and orange theme. Again, it looks very cool. This memory though is particularly impressive because it is four 64 gigabyte sticks. So a 256 gigabyte capacity on an AM5 motherboard. So it's an X870 board. Don't know how DDR5-7000 works uh, at that density and whatever, but we haven't looked into it. But apparently it's DDR5-7000 in a 256 gigabyte capacity running on an AM5 motherboard. So pretty interesting stuff there that I wouldn't mind checking out. Now this to me looks like the ultimate AM5 memory kit. DDR5-6000, which most CPUs should be able to do. Four sticks should still be achievable. 192 gigabyte capacity there at CL2636. So that is a pretty insane high performance memory kit there. 
Again, probably the ultimate AM5 kit for those that want to uh, run at the one-to-one -one ratio. 6400 is probably a bit dicey on some CPUs. 6000 should really work on all of them. So yeah, pretty impressive kit. Okay, so we have come across some CAM2 memory on display here. You probably can't see it, but we'll get some B-roll shots of it. Apparently it's running at DDR5 10,000. CL56, so fairly high latency memory, 64 gigabyte capacity. But this is running on a Core Ultra 7 265K. And it looks to be a prototype ASUS board. So I'll have to speak to ASUS and see if we can get one of those boards in to do some testing and yeah, maybe get some high speed at CAM2 memory in. Finally, a big thank you to G-Skill and Trix for helping to make our Computex trip possible this year. G-Skill offers an amazing range of DDR5 memory with AMD Expo support, allowing you to get the most out of your Ryzen processor. And we've been using their Trident Z5 Neo memory in our test systems for years now, as we rely on it to get the best results. We've also started using Trix coolers, and I've got to say the Panorama SE 360 Black is one of the best looking AIOs I've ever seen. The quality of the rotatable display is incredible, and as complex as the design appears, it's remarkably quick and easy to install. So for more information, please check the links in the video description. All right, guys, that concludes our look at the G School booth. I might have to create a poll or do something because I really want to hear what you guys have to say about that neon memory. Uh, it's the, the Neo series, but it's sort of more neon looking memory. So you had that uh, certainly orange and then the, uh, what was it, yellowy green stuff. I really did like the orange probably conveyed that throughout the video and then there was the alternative royal stuff the silver um, sort of speckly sort of looking stuff which I thought was pretty cool certainly not something I would be interested in but I know a lot of people do like the royal series so if you like the royal series let us know about that and then we have the Neo X memory for the upcoming I think it's an AM5 processor pretty sure it is uh, and yeah well, obviously we'll get that memory in and test it with that uh, upcoming processor when the time comes Still no CAM2 stuff, no updates on that front, uh, but I will be pushing for an engineering uh, board and we'll get some memory from G-Skill and play around with that and see what we find. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching and supporting our Computex trip. And yeah, I'm your host, Steve. I'll see you again next time.